Cool, I'm back from the reboot. So what I'm going to do next is address an issue that many MacBooks may experience. Now, a lot of older MacBooks actually have issues trying to connect using Wi-Fi. So currently I'm connected using a cable, but my Wi-Fi currently doesn't work. So if I go to my network icon and right click that, as you can see, Wi-Fi is enabled. But if I click it again, as you can see, the Wi-Fi networks don't appear. And that is because the Wi-Fi card that I have in this computer doesn't actually work. So what I'm going to do now is actually install a driver for it. And so this Wi-Fi fix that I'm about to do is only applicable to laptops that have a Broadcom wireless card. And also to do the fix, I also have to be able to connect to the internet. So luckily I do have an ethernet cable plugged in. So let's do the fix. So the first thing to do is open up a terminal window. So control alt T. And so firstly, I actually want to identify what type of wireless card I have in my computer. So to do that, run the command LSPCI, which is list PCI, then space hyphen NN space hyphen D space 14 E4, then colon. Right, so I'll press return now. And so what I want to take note of is this here, 432B, revision one. So now that I know what type of wireless controller I have in my computer, I'm going to jump online. So I'll open up Firefox. So what I want to do is go to askubuntu.com. So ask ubuntu.com and then in the search bar do a search for installing Broadcom wireless drivers and so this first link here is what I want to click so I'll go to that page there and if you scroll down this page here this answer here the introduction and background contains the instructions that I'll be able to use to fix my Wi-Fi problems. Special thanks to Chili555 who helped in the Ubuntu forums. And if I scroll down here, I'll also give a shout out to Luis Alvarado who posted this answer on the Ask Ubuntu forums. Cool, so I'll just scroll back up here and start this process. So if I scroll down here, here are the instructions. So starting from number one, knowing what Broadcom wireless card you have. Actually, what I'll do is I'll tile this page so I can actually see it alongside my terminal. So there we go, and I'll grab my terminal. And currently I don't have any tiling shortcuts in Lubuntu, but that's okay. It's easy enough just to click and drag. Cool, so if I scroll down this page again to number one, which is knowing what Broadcom wireless card you have, and I've already put in the instruction, which is this one here, to find out that I'm using the 432B Rev1 card. Cool, so I'll now scroll down this page a bit more, and you'll see a note here. So if you've actually attempted to fix your wireless card and you've installed any type of driver and it hasn't worked or anything like that, you want to actually follow this instruction here, sudo apt-get purge, to actually purge your system of any pre-installed drivers that may be wrong. But if you're running from a fresh install, then you can bypass this instruction here and go straight to prepare the system. So what I want to do is run an update. So I'll do that first. sudo apt update hyphen y enter. And that's completed. So what I want to do next is update the Ubuntu list of PCI IDs by running this command here. sudo update PCI IDs. So I'll 
run that now, sudo update hyphen PCI IDs. Press enter. And that's done. Cool, so I'll scroll down this page here again, and now I'm up to number three. So this is how to install the package if you have an Ethernet connection connected. So what I want to do is scroll down this page here to this list, and I'll expand this page so we can see what's going on properly. And I'll scroll up to the list again, so there it is there. So what I have in my computer is this one here, the 14E4432B. As you can see here, 14E4 432B revision 1. So in this list here, here it is here, 14E4 432B. And because it's revision 1, there's no revision version here. So what I want to do is copy this line here, Control C to copy, and then if I scroll back up the page, I actually want to install that. So I'll tile the page again and then jump back into my terminal and I'll run the install. So sudo apt install, control shift V to paste that line, and then press enter. So that's now installing that, and then enter for yes, and off we go. So if I go back to the Ask Ubuntu website, and I'll just scroll down to find the list again. So if you had any of these Broadcom cards, then you'd run sudo apt install, followed by firmware B43 installer with hyphens between the words. And for example, if you had any of these cards, the 14E4 4331 or the 4335 or the 4350, then you'd run sudo apt install firmware B43 installer. So that's pretty much how to use the chart. So I'll scroll back up this page here. And then let's see how we're going in the terminal. And that has completed. So now what I want to do is install this package here, the Linux firmware package. So I just have to run this instruction here, which is sudo apt install Linux firmware. So I'll go back to my terminal window and run the command sudo apt install Linux hyphen firmware. Press enter. And that has completed. So now what I'll do is I'll reboot the computer and then rejoin you on the other side of the reboot. And here I am back from the reboot. So now if I jump over to my network manager and click that, there we go. As you can see here, now I have working Wi-Fi, which is absolutely brilliant. But because I'm using an Ethernet cable, I'll actually turn off my Wi-Fi. So I'll right click and then deselect enable Wi-Fi. And I'll just check that. There we go, I've turned Wi-Fi off. And that's my Wi-Fi now fixed. <laughs>